Okay, this is a little uh, pan tilt bracket that I recently purchased from IC Station. Actually, just arrived today. And when it first arrives, it's, it's rather puzzling to try to figure out how it all goes together. But it's not as really bad as you'd think, as it initially looks. Um, it comes with a little bag of screws, little nuts and bolts. But it's not a initially obvious what screws are used for what. And so I was just going to kind of run through what I, how I put this together. Um, now, of course, you need two little micro servos. Okay? And I, I have some that I purchased from Hobby King. And then so they're the HXT900, which I think are, are great little servos. I like these servos a lot. Um, they're not Metal Gear, though. Um, I, I think these are, um, IC Station mentions using these with a Metal Gear servo. I, I doubt you really need to. And this bracket is obviously intended to carry a camera. If you look on the product website, it, it shows a camera attached here. Um, and so I don't know, you might want to end up cutting these off unless you want the, to use them for um, mounting something. So, this kind of gives you a range of, the idea of a range of motion on it. It could probably, if you drove the servos a little bit further, um, you could probably get it to point almost vertically. And the two channels are joined together right here. I'm just using a little servo tester to, to move them. So let's go through some of the, the connections here. Now, first off, this servo here is sandwiched between these two pieces, okay? And I, I guess that would be the first step, is to join those two pieces together with the servo sandwiched in between. And the the two pieces are joined together. Let's see if you... Nope, not on that side. On this side, can you see there's a couple screw holes there? Yes. You can see that? There's a couple screw holes. And you use the self-threading screws on those. Here's the self-threading screws. It's called, yeah, we'll call this self-threading screws, which it is. We'll call this the medium um, bolt and the nut that goes with it. And then, we'll, and then we also have these little tiny screws that we use also. And I'll tell you where I use the different screws. So those, the self-threading screws um, you use to join the two halves together. And then... I also use the self-threading screw to attach the other servo to this part of the bracket. Okay. And now on here, on one side, I actually used the the medium bolt and nut, but I don't think that's the proper place for those. Um, it works on this side. On the other side, there's not a, a place to put the nut, and so I think you're better off using the self-threading screws on these. And you might want to watch out because these are pretty fragile, and you might, you, I think you probably will want to um, drill out the holes a little bit more, especially on the other side. The, the, the thing cracked a little bit on me, and I noticed someone complaining on the website, on the product page, about it cracking. And so you'll want to use self threading screws to attach these, and this one should probably be okay because there's more, there's more plastic around this. But on the other side, there's not a lot of plastic. And you probably want to drill it out a little bit um, to help the self-threading screw not split the plastic. But if you split the plastic, use some glue to stick it back together. Or mine just split a little bit and it'll work with the split still. I didn't have to do anything to fix it. Um, okay, and then... And you, you're okay to actually install the servo before you snap this into position. Um, there's enough room, just enough room in that space there to get that this little um, thing snapped in. And my thing is falling off, excuse me. And let's see what else I'm going to tell you about. Oh, let me, I, with the servos, you get three servo horns with these particular ones. And I noticed on IC Station that these 
servo horns seem to be the same ones that they're using as well. And so you have a screw that you attach the servo horn to the servo. So you want to use that one, and that comes in with the, the servo packet. And this one here, it looks like it might be useful. It's you don't use it anywhere. It's just such strange, such a strange shape. It doesn't fit well with any of the parts. So you won't be using that one. These other two you will be using. One for the base and one for the top part. But both of them will need to be modified. This one will need to be modified the most. This one up here, you just need to like, trim off the the little bit of the edge at the the tip there. You just trim some of that plastic just to get it to fit in its allotted spot right there. And those little holes don't line up exactly on the other side, but you know they're close enough that you can kind of force the little tiny screws to fit in there. And so you'll use the little tiny screws to attach a modified, a shortened one of these to the top part of the bracket. And then the bottom part of the bracket, I'm going to pop it apart off camera. Because so I'd already removed the, the servo horn screw. I, I, this screw here I removed so I can easily pop off the servo horn. And so this is the modified servo horn in there. I apologize for not having very good light. So as you can see, that's this servo horn here cut away both at the ends and also I had to trim it down on the sides. I had to thin it out in order to get it to fit in there. But it eventually did fit. And again, the holes weren't lined up very well with the holes on the other um, in the bracket. Um, and so I used an X-Acto knife because also these screws are wider that you're going to use these medium bolts here to attach it. And these these bolts are, are larger than the tiny screws and so I had to enlarge a hole in here. And as I enlarged it, I tried to get it aligned a little bit better here. If I, I think I had to like enlarge it outwards um, in order to get it to line up better. But then I was able to force the medium bolt through and, no, here's the medium bolt, the medium bolt through and then used a nut on each side there. And it seems to work. So there's the, the nuts are on the inside and then the bolt heads on the outside. And there's only two of the four things, you know, being holding it in place, but I think that's enough. And let's see, anything else that I didn't tell you yet about how to get these things together? I think that's about it. Yeah, and I told you about the little tiny screws that hold that in place. And so what you do is you install this um, without the servo connected yet. You, you don't even, and without the this part of it, you don't want this part connected yet. You just install the servo horn, and then once that's installed and you have those little tiny screws in there and they they just look white there because it kind of pushes the plastic through but there's the two screws holding it in place and as you see it it's not a, a perfect fit but it works and then the, uh, the screw to hold the servo horn on is there as well and that's this screw here is part of the servo comes with the servo and so once this is in place, then you can fit the, the rest of it in, and you have to kind of squeeze in. I actually had to pry out this arm a little bit in order... Um, I can't look through the camera here. Okay, this outside arm right here. This part has to get pulled out just a little bit to get this to fit through. And it, it's kind of a tight fit, but not as tight as some things. And it it's not too bad and it, it fits in and then what you want to do is uh, power up the servos before you make the the final connection so you can center them and you want them and so when it's centered you want it at, at this 90 degree angle here so it can either point up or point down and then uh, you also want this centered so it just points forward on this bracket 
And so once you have them, once you have the servo centered, then you can um, snap it into position and tighten up your screw. And it's not bad. It's you know less than five bucks is what I paid for it. And what what I have it here, four fifty eight is what I paid for it. Um, a little bit on I think they're saying it's on sale, but it's no matter. It's not going to be very expensive. I think they even have free shipping, which is I don't know how they do that. So anyway, I thought it was a nice little uh, racket for the price, and not that bad to put together. And and if I had seen a video like this, it would have been even easier. So hopefully this will help you guys put it together.